My name is Dylan Gray. I'm from Yonkers. I'm a senior. I'm a physics major and a philosophy minor. I became interested in physics in high school with my first physics class, which was just kind of basic mechanics, really. And then I just found it really compelling. And sol problem solving is really fun when you start understanding the concepts and the equations. And that feeling that you get when you solve a problem finally is just like amazing. You're, like you just feel so happy. Currently, I'm doing research for my senior thesis with Dr. Konopolic, who I've been working with doing research for the past two full years now. I started my sophomore year um, summer doing a research project with him, and that led to me working with him on his National Science Foundation grant my junior year. And then my junior summer year, I went to CERN with him to work with the NYU Atlas team. CERN is, a, is in Europe, it stands for the European Organization for Nuclear Research. And it's a large facility in Europe that's made up of a lot of European countries as the main members. So now primarily what they do is particle physics research and they have various different colliders and such, such as the Large Hadron Collider where they bombard um, protons to produce new particles to study them. There's people from all over the world there. So like I heard so many different languages a day and I interacted with so many different kinds of people and scientists and engineers. And it's really like humbling in a sense because I, it was like a r real world experience as opposed to being in college and just kind of studying like that, like kind of like the way an internship is. You need that like mentor to do research in general. He's taught me so much in terms of like what it's like to actually, you know, do physics research and how to like be a formal scientist, you know, because I also, you know, have made presentations and posters and like I'm going to DC in the winter to present. So it's not just, you know, thinking of a problem, working on it and just kind of like knowing it yourself. You also have to be able to, you know, elaborate on it, why it's important, why you should be studying this. And that's what I got a lot from working with Dr. Konopolic. Currently I'm applying to applied physics PhDs, hoping to get like a concentration in material science. I really want to work in the lab and I figured that out after working in the labs at CERN with some people I was shadowing a lot, interacting with a lot of the technicians. So once I realized like, oh, this is where I want to be, then I started figuring out how to um, steer my life.